The end of life for the International Space Station is drawing near likely at the end of this decade. NASA is looking to companies to build private space stations in orbit and it will reportedly save more than a billion dollars a year. And competition to replace the ISS is growing. We for sure know of at least three bidders and more companies are expected to throw their hats in the ring or of course launch their space stations to the sky. Well, you know what I mean. Houston-based Axiom Space wants to develop the world's first commercial space station. NanoRacks and Lockheed Martin plan to build a space station dubbed Star Lab. And finally, the concept of the orbital reef led by Blue Origin and Sierra Space has been trying a lot of attention. And I reached out to the senior space editor for Ars Technica, Eric Berger, and I wanted to get his thoughts on this growing competition. I really liked your article about building private space stations. I, when I initially reached out to you, I wanted to hear your thoughts about the orbital reef and just this concept in general of, um, you know, this kind of competition. The big picture here is that NASA is looking um, to maintain a presence in low Earth orbit after the International Space Station, um, you know, reaches the end of its life. And, and we don't know for sure when that's going to happen. Um, it may be 2028, it may be 2030, but you know, it's going to happen probably within the next decade. Um, and so the plan that NASA has for moving beyond that is to, <clears throat> you know, turn to the private sector and basically say, if you'll build private space stations, we'll guarantee that we'll be an anchor tenant, which basically means that they'll buy rides to the space station they'll pay for their people to be on board and do meaningful things there and then that will give them you know these private companies sort of a base of funding to work from and then from that they'll be able to go out and attract private capital um and, and build these space stations so what do you think about the orbital reef <laughs> so you know there's several companies that have already stepped forward with plans um and i think what you can say about orbital reef it is that it, it's the most ambitious um, station. They are led by Blue Origin, um, which is the rocket company founded by Jeff Bezos. But then they've got some other major partners as well, Sierra Space, um, Boeing, uh, Redwire, and, and a couple other entities as well. And these are sort of, these are, these are big players in the space industry. And, and they're proposing to build a space station that's about 90% the size of the International Space Station, um, which is really big because it took you know the better part of two decades in the in the space shuttle to construct the international space station um and the price was you know more than a hundred billion dollars so the idea that a, a private companies with some guarantee from nasa um of some kind of level of funding are, are going to go out and build build such a space station on their own is i don't want to say it's a stretch but it's certainly pretty ambitious yeah, it seems like a lot of people, or at least on Twitter, are just kind of, you know, mocking uh, <clears throat> that proposal or, or just... Well, I mean, I mean, Blue Origin certainly has the funding. They have deep pockets um, from Jeff Bezos, and he's committed to this project. They've actually been working on it for a while. Um, but it's a big step up for a company that, you know, does not have a great track record of executing. Um, you know, to date, their their biggest accomplishment is the New Shepard launch system, which is great, but it's it's pretty small. It's suborbital, um, and it's just a long ways away from an international international space station. I mean, put it put it this way: the orbital reef, you know, sp space station would be almost like the International Space Station, you know, which is what NASA did in its fifth decade of existence, and and at its very outset, um, what the the NASA did was fly Alan Shepard to space, which was basically the new Shepard launch system. And so, you know, Blue Origin is kind of starting at the beginning of where NASA was and then jumping ahead 50 years. And so that, that's, I think, why there's some skepticism about whether they'll be able to see the project through. NASA has not yet announced its selections for the commercial stations program, but the phase one funding deadline closed in August. NASA is expected to select a few companies to advance their concepts and conduct a preliminary design review.
And phase two will involve NASA purchasing transportation of cargo and crew to and from commercial space stations and accommodations there. Believe it or not, the International Space Station has been described as the most expensive single item ever created. As of 2010, the total cost was $150 billion. And now the ISS is more than 20 years old and it costs about $4 billion a year to NASA to operate. And the space station is approved to operate through the end of 2024. Now they're likely to extend that lifespan through 2028. With the replacement still to be determined, Eric points out it would be helpful for these would-be commercial space developers to have clarity on how much NASA intends to spend and also how much Congress is willing to appropriate. And he makes a really good point in order to launch viable space stations before the retirement of the ISS, investments need to be made now. As always, I would love to get your thoughts on this. I think it's so interesting to see this shift to private companies, and I would really love to hear from you what you would like to see happen. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and subscribing if you aren't already. I also wanted to give a big thank you to my Patreon supporters. Your support for my channel has been tremendous, and I really, really appreciate everyone who is getting behind in space. Thank you so much, and I look forward to bringing you more content in the future.